Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of the out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. They may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And in this one, we're going to go into the MOTB, man, because... All the evidence is being laid out through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. And we and every time we get a piece of information, we're gonna bring it to the people so you can be warned. So when it happens, you will have no excuse in that day. You will have no excuse, man. Everything the most high says is playing out right before our eyes in this MOTB or the mark of the beast, which is the RFID C H I P is on the way, man. Just like the Most High has told us. So this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse uh, 2. It says, Yep. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. And this is what we do. The vision is being made plain upon tables from the prophets of old for us to read it here in this time and to, and to go uh, broadcast it and publish it all throughout the earth, man. You see, to, to to give warning unto the elect of Israel, you see, on what is coming. Verse 3 says what? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. And that's exactly what's happening. The, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have been saying that this MOTB was on the way for decades now, and it's here. It might have seemed like it was taking a long time, but it wasn't, man. <laughs> it might have seemed like it was, it was tearing, like it's tearing, but it's not. These elite are constantly <laughs> working on this thing, or having people, having their people working on this thing around the clock behind the scenes, man. And now we're starting to see everything being rolled out and presented to the people. And when it's all said and done, you are going to be presented with that MOTB, the RFID CHIP. It must happen because that's what the most I have spoken, man. You see? Now, I have a video right here that was posted in the chat, and I just wanted to get into it real quick. So let's let's play this. Professor Richard Werner told us on probably don't know. Will it be on your phone? Probably not. Will he have a plastic debit card? Probably not. No, remember Professor Richard Werner told us how this will work and what this control will do to all of us. Watch. Also, they never talk about the nature of the CBDC. What what is it actually gonna look like? They never talk about that. Right. Um, but I heard one European Central Banker, tell me what it's going to look like. He saw it. He was invited to one of the old central banks in Europe that are very much promoting this. And they showed him. And, you know, he's, he's a top, um, you know, executive director of another central bank in Europe. And there's no reason to believe that he was telling me a story. Um, and he was around this, this large and would be implanted under your skin. So that is the plan. Right. You see? This is what's coming, man. And we've been saying that, beginning with the Apostle Har and the Apostles under him on down, man. But you got all these camps out here mocking, scoffing, talking shit, saying that the, the mark of the beast is everything other than what it really is, man. And now you got these fucking <laughs> elite bankers Revealing it to certain people, and those people are, le are, are le they're leaking that information. 
And it's coming out that the mark of the beast is what Great Millstone has said it is. Beginning with the apostles and elders, man. You see? They are about to roll this thing out. You got the Fed now system about to roll out in July. You got more and more talks of CBDCs, man, and digital wallets. And how is that? And how are you going to be able to access and spend that spend that money by way of that implantable microchip, man? And it's all according to the vision that the the, the Most High showed to the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos, man. It's clear. It's being clear. It's being clear, man. But we already know the only ones who are going to get it is the elect of Israel, man. So let's get into the uh, prophecy real quick. This is Revelation 13 and 16. It says what? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And this is what this man is about to come with. He is about to force this upon the entire planet Earth, man. You see? Man, woman, and child, no matter what your social status is, no matter how much money you may have, you are going to have to get down with this system. If you want your life to continue on, or to continue, if you want to continue on in society, because if you don't get this, you see the vice put up in you, it tells you in the next verse that what? And that no man might bow or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you won't be able to buy or sell or function in society unless you have this device in you, man. Because this is going to be how Esau has people operate in his new world order. You see? You heard old boy at the, uh, the, the start of the video. The time is coming away. Ain't going to be no more plastic debit cards, man. Ain't going to be no more credit cards. Everything's going to be operated on, on, on that uh, CHIP, man, in your digital wallet, which is CBDCs. And, uh, and, and that is going to be implanted in your skin or under your skin. <laughs> and if you don't have that, no more going into Walmart, no more going into stores, no more getting gas, so forth and so on, man, because that's going to be the only way you're going to be able to operate, move and function in this new society. You see? It's happening, man. It's happening. <laughs> just like just like the most I said it would. Verse 18 says what? Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And what man is that talking about? It's talking about the so-called white man, the, the elite of the so-called white race, which are the Edomites, man. That's your true nationality. You're not white. You're not European. You are the Edomites, according to the Mosai. The elite of the Edomites are the ones who are, who are going to enforce this upon the uh, entire planet Earth, man. They're the, they're the fucking ones behind the scenes, you see, uh, uh, having these people uh, uh, build these devices, man, and set up this infrastructure for this, for this thing to be rolled out, you see. They're the ones who are doing this, man. Your Rockefellers. Your Rothschilds, so forth and so on, man. They're the ones behind this. Why? Because they want to enslave the entire planet Earth, man, and bring you into a new digital form of slavery, to where they have control over everything you buy. They they, they know it every every time you purchase something, every time you sell something. They're gonna be able to keep track of all that through this device, man. They're gonna be. You see, a couple years ago, oh, when the uh, the C nineteen popped off, you had the uh, the universal basic income. That's what they want to do with the CBDCs, man. Give you an allowance, and if you don't want to, if you don't want to play ball, if you, you know what they set it up as, they set it up like China set up with the uh, the social credit score, man. So if you're not on your best behavior, they can take. Di different perks and privileges away from you. Because Esau wants total control over everyone, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. 
You see? He's the one that's doing this, man. The elite of Esau. The top international banking families, man. You heard old boy in the video. Where did he see that device at? At one of the, the central banks in Europe. <laughs> you see? It's coming, man. Like, it's to the point. Now, we what else, what else can we tell you? What else can we say? Because I know Great Millstone Long has made thousands of videos on what this is, man, this MOTB. What else can we tell you? <laughs> and like Apostle Hall always says, man, a lot of people... Are, they they not going to get it until them damn chipping stations pop up, man. Until they start advertising this thing. Until you come on down to your your to the nearest chipping station near you. If you want your life to continue. Because that's, that's exactly what it's going to come down to. If you want to get back to normalcy. If you want your life to continue on. If you want to continue to move around and have your liberty and whatever it may be. You're going to have to get that device up in you, man. Point blank, period. So Revelation 13 and 18 says what? Here is wisdom. <laughs> Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. 666, man. And this is why you see that number all over the place in this society because that represents the elite, man. That's their number. The wicked. <laughs> you see? Now that we've told you what the MOTB is and we've... Uh, even showed you count. We we've gone through countless articles, man, videos, all type of things. So now you have no excuse for when it for uh, so when it's finally rolled out and made mandatory, and you go receive this, man. You have no excuse. You can't say that. Oh, I didn't know what it was because that's a damn lie. Because the most the most I has had the spirit upon his men to bring this out over and over and over and over and over again, man. So we're here to let you know, you Israelites, that if you go and get this device put up in your body to continue on in Esau society, a place that's not your rest anyway, the Most High is going to utterly destroy you. You see? Because there's going to be a great punishment to befall those. Let me say, that there's going to be a great punishment to befall Israelites who go and take this device, man. Let's show you. <laughs> Revelation 14 and 9. Look at the title. Doom for the worshipers of the beast. Because that's exactly what it means. If you get this device put up in you, it's I'm talking mainly to you Israelites, because we don't give a damn about the heathen nations. They can get as many chips as they want to get. They're gonna be if the heathen are here in this land, they're gonna be destroyed regardless. But this is message is to you Israelites, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you get this device put up in you, man, that means certain doom. Ain't no coming back for it. Ain't no coming back from it. Let me say it like that. Ain't no coming back from it. Because what that what that what that uh, represents, and basically what you tell the most high is the so-called white man is your guy. You want to continue to be up under him as a slave, because that's what that represents. That's what that 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 device goes into. You see? You submitting it and basically proclaiming. The so-called white man is your God, so <laughs> you're going to be destroyed here in this land, man. Revelation 14 and 9 says what? And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, which is Esau's system, you see? Esau's power structure, Babylon, NATO, and the EU. This, this fucking machine <laughs> that operates around us that we have to move uh, move and maneuver in every day. It says what well, in his image, meaning his way of life, his doctrines, his philosophies, you see, all that madness. And receive his mark, which is the CHIP, the, uh, the uh, RFID CHIP. So it says what? Well, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Do you hear that? If you get this device put up in you, that means you want to continue on the Esau system. You okay with his wicked doctrines and philosophies. You see? 
So you are going to be destroyed because this place is a is is a place of great rebellion against the Most High, man. You see, the Most High is already ordained for this place to be destroyed. And if any of you Israelites go and get this device put up in you, you're going to be destroyed right along with this place, man. By way of what? Nuclear fire. <laughs> that are going to be missiles that are going to be shot from every country that has missiles. <laughs> you see? Every country that, ha that has thermonuclear capabilities, they are going to fire their missiles here to the land of America. And if you have that device up in you, you are going to be cooked here in this place, man. And this is why we're so adamant about pushing forth this warning. To give you Israelites a heads up of what's about to take place. And what's going to happen to any one of you that gets this device. We're letting you know the Most High is going to burn you up, man. It ain't worth it. Hell nah. But it goes on to say what? And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night. Who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. There's no, hey, you're going to partake in the second death, man. You see? Because this is about to happen. It's coming. There's no repenting from this. You can't, and, and a lot of these cats out here talking about, uh, what if I get it and, and, and I can pop it out right before your Howard Shot come or chop my hand? No, man. Once you get it, you got it and, and, and you're done. Ain't no coming back from this. Ain't no gray area. When, when it comes, the most I don't deal with gray areas, man. So the scripture say, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. If you get it, you're done. Point blank, period. And a lot of our people are going to get this because what? They don't believe in the Most High. They don't believe they have a kingdom coming. They, they, they believe that this is their rest. So to continue on, you see, <laughs> in this place, a lot of you Israelites are going to get this and the Most High is going to utterly destroy you, man. You see? But for us, man, that believe in Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, he allow us to be kept because he told us this. That's why we get the... We don't have to worry about this, man. Because we know we know what it is. Revelation 3 and 10 says what, man? This is what the Most High has promised to those who believe in his son, Yahweh Shah. Red letter, Yahweh Shah speaking. It says what? Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The hour of temptation is what? When this thing is made mandatory and they come out and, and make the announcement for, for you to continue on in this society, for you to be a part of this new world order, you see, you're going to have to get that device. The majority of the world is going to get it. But Yahweh Shah is going to keep those who have the faith in him, man. You see? So once again, we believe in Yahweh Shah, man. We have nothing to worry about. We're going to be killed. We're going to be taken care of. We don't have to go uh, to Esau for nothing, man. Everything that we need is going to be provided by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But guess what? The majority of our people, they don't understand that. So when it, when it goes down, they haven't eaten <laughs> for, for a while. Their food is always uncertain because they don't know what this, what the, the next time they're going to eat. So to, to heal that, to ease that pain and, you see, try to get some type of comfort, they're going to run straight to Esau and it's going to lead to them being what? Destroyed, man. You see? It's going to lead to them being destroyed. Because your house is not going to protect the two-thirds, man. The most I'm going to put the spirit upon them to go and get that shit. And when that happens, man, it's over. It's a wrap. But yeah, it's coming. It's coming. And we've been telling you. It's right around the corner, man. You see, we hey, you see all these, these countries moving away from the dollar. The dollar is losing power. You hear more talks about CBDCs. 
All that leads up to what, man? The MOTB made, being made mandatory, and you've been warned by the prophets countless times, man, so there will be no excuse. There will be no excuse, man. So, yeah, I just wanted to do that short video, man. Lord willing, that was edifying. Hey, it's almost over. <laughs> it's almost over. It'll be here before you know it. And Lord willing, we continue to endure in faith, man. So with that, I'm going to give all, give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Ba, Ba, Ba.